A very common question I get, especially from freshers, is what resources should be used for learning DSA? As there's so many resources, there's paid resources, unpaid resources, freshers keep wondering what should we use to learn DSA? So in this video, I'm going to tell you the best free resources for DSA that is available freely on YouTube. So I'm going to tell you the best playlist that you can follow and how you can follow them to have the best shot at improving your problem solving skills and ultimately clearing the top interview of the top companies. So let's get started. So I've divided the video into two parts. As you know, DSA is of two parts. It has one which is the theoretical part and then you have the implementation, which is basically the problem solving, solving the problems. And if you're saying that theory is not important for DSA, then my friend, you're deeply wrong. DSA is very much based on theory and you need to have a good knowledge of theory if you want to go ahead and solve problems. So first we're going to see what channels or playlists that you can follow for learning theoretical concepts so that you can have a strong foundation. And then the second part will be what channels or playlists that you can follow for learning problem solving or the implementation part. And if you want to know how to follow these YouTube playlists the right way, then I've made an entire video on that. I'll give a link to it in the description. You can check that out. So check that out as well after this video. Okay, so starting with the theory part, as we know, theory is very important, especially for complex data structures. If you have a data structure like, let's say, try or segment tree or tree, then you need to know how the tree is working, how the traversals are working, how you can remove a node, how you can add a node. All of these you need to know in theory part well so that you can implement them in code. So theoretical concepts are very important. And the channels that you can follow for theoretical parts are as follows. Number one is the king of DSA, especially in the theory part is Abdul Bari sir. So if you are a CS student or if you've passed out from CS or engineering, then most probably you've heard of Abdul Bari and most probably he has helped you pass your DSA exams, right? So Abdul Bari has some great playlist on algorithms. He has explained some algorithms very, very beautifully, especially the graph algorithms. He explains everything on a whiteboard by drawing everything out. So you're able to visualize how the algorithm is working. And if you see his videos once, you will never forget how the algorithm is working. So definitely you can follow Abdul Bari's videos for the algorithms and you will have a strong understanding of them. Now for data structures, I feel there's one more person that I should name and that is Jenny's lectures. So Jenny's has an entire playlist on data structures where she explains the theoretical concepts of data structures really, really well. So if you see her linguist videos, if you see her W linguist videos, you'll start to understand everything in detail, like how the data structure works, how it is used, why it is used and all the basic concepts of it. So you can follow Jenny's lectures for the data structures or understanding the theoretical concepts of data structures. So these two are probably the best you can find in learning theory for data structures and algorithm. Now, one more honorable mention here is Tushar Roy's coding channel. So Tushar Roy's channel is a little bit older than these two. And I don't think he's active on YouTube anymore, but a lot of his videos are very, very good. Again, especially for theory part. So you can see a few videos of Tushar Roy as well if you feel like you're not getting the right amount or the right video from the above two channels. So these three are basically the trio of DSA theory. You have Abdul Bari, you have Jenny's IT lecture, and then you have Tushar Roy's coding channel. So make sure that you go through all of the data structures, all of the algorithms, and be good in the theoretical concept. Your foundation should be very, very strong so that you can build up your problem solving skills on top of. Now, one point I want to interject here is a lot of people think that they should not be going at different resources for learning DSA. That is completely wrong. You can refer to as many resources as you want. There's no such rule as you only need to stick to one resource. You can learn Linglist at one place and you can learn Tree as another. You can learn DP at one place and you can learn Graph at another. So you can choose whatever resource feels fit for you. You don't have to stick to just one resource. However, one thing that you should do is you should consolidate all of your notes into a single place so that once you go for the interviews, it will be easier for you to revise. So remember, whenever you're watching these playlists, don't forget to make notes. Okay, now the theory part is done. We come to the main point, the heart of DSA, which is problem solving. No matter how good you are at theory, if you're not able to solve the problems, then you'll not be going anywhere in the interview and you'll not be able to pass any interview. So it is very essential that you have good problem solving skills and when the problem comes to you, you are able to solve it within the time limit. Okay, so what are the playlists that you can follow for learning problem solving or for knowing how to solve problems in the field of DSA? Okay, so if you're a beginner, if you're just starting out in programming, you don't know anything about DSA, you're just a pure beginner, 
then the playlist i'll suggest to you is love Bubba's playlist so he has a channel code help i think all of the links that i'm mentioning will be in the description don't worry about that so he has a channel where he explains everything from the basics of programming to data structures and algorithm so his channel is very good if you're a beginner and another name here is anuj so anuj also has a youtube channel where he has some dsa lectures which are also very beginner friendly so if you are a beginner then definitely you can check out love Bubba's coding channel or you can check out anuj's youtube channel both of them have great beginner friendly dsa lectures but if you want to go a little bit above if you want to go a step above then you have the best dsa playlist or the best dsa guy on youtube which is obviously striver striver's dsa playlist is by far the best of the best that you can find on youtube a lot of people have learned from it i have also learned from it and his dsa playlist on graph dynamic programming and tree is probably the best that you can ever get so if you want to learn the more difficult topics if you want to learn if you want to go too deep into problem solving, if you want to become a good problem solver, then you can start with Striver's playlist. So you can take any one of his playlists. For example, if you're learning graph theory, take his graph playlist, go one by one, start solving problems. So Striver's playlist is a very good thing. If you want to take your problem solving skills to the next level, you want to learn the difficult DSA topics like graph, DP, recursion, etc., then you can follow Striver's playlist. It is probably the best, like I already said. Now, one more name to mention here is Kunal Kushwaha's DSA playlist. So Kunal Kushwaha also has a DSA playlist and he teaches primarily in Java. So if you're a Java guy, then you can definitely follow Kunal Kushwaha's playlist. His teaching style is also good. However, the playlist is incomplete. It doesn't have a lot of topics, but still, if you want to learn things like linked list or recursion, then his videos are pretty good, like I said, especially if you're a Java guy. So his channel is also you can follow. So like I said, if you're just starting out with programming, you can take a playlist like Love Bubba or Anuj playlist or Apna College and you can start with that. And once you get in the field of DSA, once you start solving some medium or hard problems, then you can start with Striver's playlist. It is pretty much the most comprehensive playlist. You can also follow Striver's sheet along with that, which is having around 400 problems, if I'm not wrong. He also has a website, Take You Forward. You can follow that as well for reference. And apart from that, you have Kunal Kushwa's YouTube channel. You can also follow that for Java based videos on DSA. Now, one thing to note here is that you will not find everything on YouTube. There are places or there are some questions which you might feel that are not on YouTube or there are some topics which you might feel no one has explained on YouTube. So you will come across such problems. In that case, what you can do is you can go on Geeks for Geeks. So Geeks for Geeks is pretty much a free website where you can learn different concepts you can read about different things and you can learn different algorithms so have a habit of reading as well don't just get in the habit of watching videos to learn everything will not be on youtube so you will have to sometimes read things up so you can find good blogs on say geeks or geeks so there's some good blogs on medium there's some good blogs on code forces where people have explained some advanced topics or some topics which are not there on youtube in a very very nice way so you can follow blogs on Geeks for Geeks, even Lead Code or these websites and add them into your learning so that nothing is left out. And like I said, don't just watch the videos and let them be. Go ahead and make notes, make references, solve problems, make notes of problems that you've solved. Keep a sheet of everything that you're doing so that it's easier for you to revise. And remember, you can watch all the DSA playlists in the world unless you go to Lead Code, unless you go to a website like Lead Code or Geeks or Geeks, you will not improve your problem solving skills. So in the end, these websites or these channels, these playlists can only help you come to a certain point. From that, it's on you. You have to do the hard work. You have to do the nitty gritty and take your problem solving skills to a level that you can solve actual problems, real problems in the interview. So that's pretty much it. If you still have any doubts, if you're looking for more resources, then feel free to message me on LinkedIn or Instagram, or you can even leave a comment and all of the resources link will be in the description box. Feel free to check it out. Thank you.